And school districts are in the middle of planning for the upcoming fall semester. WTVA's Chelsea Brown spoke with Houston Superintendent about how different school will be this fall. Houston School District administrators have a plan for when students return to classrooms in the fall. One new thing administrators are adding is a scanner to take people's temperatures as they are coming into the school. I spoke with Superintendent Tony Cook about some of his concerns about returning to the classroom. We're planning for several scenarios, uh, and there's so many that that you have to you have to decide on three or four. Superintendent Tony Cook is concerned for those students and teachers that could be at higher risk for coronavirus. Teachers and students have told him that they are ready to get back into a normal school year. Overwhelmingly, everybody is ready to go back. The upcoming school year will have some changes to the classrooms, though. Cook says that the schools already had multiple hand sanitizer stations, but the school has bought more. We've stocked up on as much sanitizer as we can get our hands on. Administrators are asking for students to wear masks, especially in more small group assignments. The district is also purchasing protective equipment for the teachers. We're purchasing. Uh, shields for our teachers so that when they're uh, delivering direct instruction. Tony Cook hopes to have students back on campus this fall so students can have the in-class learning experiences they need. These kids are still growing and developing and, and they need to be around people and they need teachers uh, there who care about them. Cook is especially concerned for those younger students. I don't know how um, you truly teach reading to, to young students uh, through distance learning. The plan could change before the beginning of the school year. Cook says he hopes to be back in the classrooms on schedule. The scheduled first day of school as of now is August 8th. In Houston, Chelsea Brown, WTVA 9 News.